Hey guys, today on Aiden's World we're going back into Wind Waker HD and welcome to another episode of Hero of Time on the Warrior Wednesday series. So guys, today we are going to get the third and final pearl. So guys, let's head into this game and guys, now that we got the swift sail, we can get anywhere really, really fast. So anyway, let's head in. In. All right, so let's go in here, Dragon Roost Island, and let's get the final pearl here, so that we are ready to go. So right now we have five hearts, and that is really good. So let's find our location on the map here, just before we go. So it's right here. So we'll pass by Outset Island. Real quick before we head on to this one. So let's start heading there now. Real quick. And let's set sail. So the way that we need to go is south. So I'll just um, use the wind waker. Just so that we're going the right way. Alright, let's set it to south. All right, so we'll just head directly this way. And before we go, let's get a little bit of treasure before we head on to our adventure. And it'd be right here. Bingo. All right. So guys, how I got this treasure is because it was on one of the treasure maps. And there we go, 200 rupees. So that is a good award. Huh, that's kind of odd. Our rupee count only went up to 500. I guess that's our max rupee, rupees for right now. But anyway, the treasure chart that I got this cool thing on is on this treasure chart right here. Treasure chart number 39. And anyway, treasure charts are really good for about anything because you can use treasure charts for anything um, with treasure. So anyway, let's just head directly south, use swift sail, and we'll check where we are. So in the last video, we got the we got the Korok leaf, we got the Dooku leaf. And we got the boomerang, which is really good, especially since the boomerang, I've tested it out a little bit, and it allows you to grab stuff from a distance. And you can target up to five things, which is really good. So that's like a rupee far in the distance, not far, but nearby. But um, Anyway, you just aim it at the rupee and it'll fly over there and come straight back and give you the rupee. Which is a really cool feature. But let's check where we are. So we're directly on the second square here. Entering the third one. So we should be coming straight up to one of these things pretty quickly here. Ooh, treasure. Right, let's stop. Ooh, we got treasure, guys. Nope, it's somewhere around here. So let's go a little bit forward. Boom. Okay, we got treasure. Wow. And how we found this one is because of a special bright shining light that I saw. And there we go. Another silver rupee. But it seems like our ruby count is maxed out. So anyhow, let's check on where we are going. South is still this way. So let's continue. Ooh, what's that? So anyway, 
Oh, what's coming up here? Uh oh. All right. So it seems like it's just raining. It's fine. So we'll just head straight this way and right past. Ooh, another treasure. All right. The good thing we got this thing from the Rito because we keep reeling up treasure. All right, let's see what we got this time. A purple rupee, okay. But it seems like our rupee count is maxed out here. So it seems like we gotta figure out a way to get more rupee. But anyhow, let's continue straight down here towards a destination which is Outset Island. So this is pretty much the easiest way to go. We just gotta keep going straight. Straight south. And also a cool thing about our boat here is that it has a compass and a weather thing over there in the bottom left corner. And it also tells you the time too. So we are nearly there to the bottom section here so continue sailing and see if we find something cool all right nice so let's see here okay we're on the bottom sector that means we gotta go we gotta go right here get it to our destination there we go so we'll just head down a little bit yeah and the cool thing about the swift sail is it has the wind waker basically built in Ooh, what's that shark we better go forget that treasure Alright, there's another treasure over there, but forget that. Alright, so we're approaching Outset Island right over here somewhere. Nice, okay, so we better watch out for those sharks. Because it seems like... Not very good. So anyway, let's sail this way. So it's starting to turn night here. So it's really cool. It actually, the time actually changes. Alright, and here we are. Ooh, what's this? Better get a boomerang. Well, okay. Uh-oh. What is that? Whoa, sea monster. Get it, get it, get it. Alright, I don't know what we're hitting, but we're hitting something on it, and it's ta and it's dealing damage. Seems like eyes. Alright, so... I don't know how much damage we have to deal to it, but it's really weird looking, actually. <gasps> Wait, one's blue and we can't hit it anymore, so the blue eyes... Blue means we conquered it. All right, oh man, that thing is so weird looking. But anyway, let's see what we get. It's probably a good award. What's this? Whoa, okay, what is this? Oh, Waker of the Winds. Thanks to you, I have been freed from that beast's foul grasp. As thanks, I shall give you a little of my power. Wow, okay, so... Wow, that's that's a good award. Wow, what's this? Wow, that's amazing. Okay. Your magic power has been increased. You now have twice as much as what you had before. What the? Wow, okay, our line just went like two times the size. May the winds of fortune always blow across your bow. 
Wow, okay, that was nice. That was a nice gift. Who would expect that? That's that's a really good gift. But the it sounded like the fairy fountain theme was playing, so maybe that was a fairy. Maybe that was a great fairy. Who knows? Let's just go. Let's just continue to outset. So guys, if you know, leave it in the comments below. Because I'd really like to know if that was actually a fairy. Because if it was, that's awesome. And here we go, we struck more treasure. So this time, what did we get? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna probably be another rupee. Yep, it's another rupee. Cool, but anyway... We still got to figure out a way to to fill up, to give ourselves some more groupy storage space. But anyway, that magic power meter thing got way longer than before. And what you said, twice as big. Yeah, because before it only had four of those lines. Now it has eight. That's really good. We could definitely use that. She just helps us on our journey easily. Alright, so let's just stop by Outset Island real quick. To see what we got going on. And we'll say hi to Link's grandma while we're here. Alright. Let's just hop out real quick. Nice, okay. This island is so much different at night. Oh no. Whoa, okay. Got it. These things are so weird looking. They're like Choo Choo's from Breath of the Wild, but they're so much weirder. Alright, so we got a rupee. Oh, quickly. Okay, so rupees don't fit. So anyway, let's just go this way. Towards Link's grandma's house. And I'll just equip this. So let's head inside and see what we see what's going on all right there's link's grandma right there let's see what's up oh link Iroh, don't go don't leave don't leave your poor old grandma all alone Oh man, he's sad about, but that we left, and Ira was taken, but her, he, he didn't even do anything with her soup either, but let's, but let's use this fairy on her, this should fix the problem. Alright, there we go. Let's see if that fixed it. Oh, Link, is that your grandma is always happy to see your bright, shining face. Link, my dear, sweet Link. You're safe, that's wonderful, just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister Iroh are trying so hard to be strong and I've been sitting here moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I should, I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry Link. I haven't been considered what you must be going though. I'm a terrible grandma. <laughs> Link, this is all I have to give, you, to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. You got elixir soup. This healthy soup your grandmother makes replenishes all your life energy and magic power. Wow, okay. Wow, thanks to her, now we can go on many more adventures with this. This is like a power up. Your attack power also doubles until the first time you take damage. Now that is one hearty soup. 
I mean, your kind old grandmother filled your bottle, so there's two help, helpling, helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? Wow, okay, I'm not sh really sure what that means, but that's good. You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you anytime you'd like. Grandma's going to try to be strong. Alright. But don't do anything reckless, alright? So, that's good. We helped her and we'll come visit her every now and then. So, let's head out and let's... And let's see what's going on. Well, next time we come, we'll probably bring her something else that's nice. But anyway, let's just get the boomerang back on our hot bar for real quick. And we gotta head out to the island. What, what what does the boat have to say for right now about the island? Link, I sense that terrible things are happening. Quickly, we, we must hurry to the place marked on your sea chart. Okay, okay, we better go fast. Ooh, treasure. We'll have to forget that for right now. Let's open the map menu and... Let's check where we have to go, right here. So, we need to go absolutely straight north from here. Let's set sail two times speed with a nitrous sail. Alright, there we go. Let's actually change it to day so that there's no monsters. Alright, so there we go. And that should fix the, that should fix the time to day. Let's go. Alright, let's sail twice the speed, and there we go. Alright, so where do we have to go? Just straight forward, it seems like. This is a really cool boat, actually. And what's going on here? It looks like another water monster is coming. Good news, we have that boomerang. Anyhow, let's go. So I don't know what those sharks mean. Does it mean they should, that they're that that uh, monsters back? I'm not really sure, but let's just go anyway. It, we are nearly there. We have basically one square to go. So, actually less. If this cell travels one square in just a little while then. Very fast boat. All right. So let's continue and head this way. Is that the island? Oh, this is really weird, huh? Maybe it's because it's just day. That's why. But anyway, let's go. Whoa, okay, what is that? Look, Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? For real, what happened? Great Fish Isle. Wow, it seems like it has been destroyed. But what, what, what is the meaning of this? The island, it's... We're too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jabu once lived here, but no sign of him remained. Ho, oh, oh, ho, there, Link. Huh? It's Quill. Quill the mail bird. The, the mail retail. That's, that's cool. So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Any, are you by any chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. 
Just look at this place, how it's been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the Shadow and Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jabun was able to flee his island before it was attacked. He was in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island you were born on outset. Really? We were just there. Yet, yeah, even if you were to go to outset now, you would not be able to see Jebu. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slat that repels all who try to pass. Why, not even pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Like I thought if anyone would know your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for outside island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky that they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what I do not know. If you wish to see, see Jaboon, I think you better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. One eerie isle this is. Everyone else Boats clear the skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Malu must have been right when you asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel, I would counsel get against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. Alright, well, I guess we better go search for those pirates before you do anything crazy. We better head there now. So, Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have been caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the retail postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we first go to Windfall and search for them there? Alright. Do it. Well, we better do it quick before anything else happens. So let's set course. So... Let's see here. So that's Windfall. So we need to go... Basically, um, north east. All right, there we go. Directly north east. So we'll be there in just a little bit. How is there such a big storm around here? Crazy. Well, anyway, let's just head to the pirates, and they must be trying to find something on Windfall Island be able to get into that cave because if the if um that Rito postman Quill said that they couldn't even get in then that means they're probably looking for something probably for their um probably for the uh catapult thing to get them in we better head there quick and we're nearly there so it's right here in this sector and we are basically there there it is isn't that it yeah that's it all right so we're basically there i'll just turn a little bit and that is it right there perfect so let's go so anyway those Pirates are probably looking for some sort of cannonball or something, or some sort of big boulder to stick in their catapult thing. Whoa, what was that? That just took down half of our health. That's really bad. Alright, we better sail here. Whoa! Alright. It is just that, as the postman told us, the pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not 
I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jabon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding about you. Alright, so we need to figure it out, and real quick, we'll just park the boat in the place where we originally found it. Right here so that it's safe. Alright, nice. Okay, so let's go figure out what's, what's, what those pirates are doing. They're probably not doing something that's not great. Alright, so now that our house is healed up, let's figure it out. The work? Wait, there's a bomb right there. A bomb? Okay, that's definitely where they went. That's the bomb shop that guy was talking about. The bomb shop is here. So... We better head in before anything else happens. Alright, nice. Oh, and there's some vines in the back we could climb. Nice. Alright, we better go in quickly. See what we can see. Alright. Whoa, okay. Those pirates are definitely up to no good. Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? Oh man, these pirates are definitely up to no good. So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price. Uh, yup, I bet you are. You know, Granzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get the, that information out of the postman. Huh. Oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on Link, I knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah. So, when I saw the postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. If those pirates are really, really good at getting stuff out of people. Good work, Gronzo. Really, just the top notch is funny. So, I'm thinking this is maybe the first thing you've shown with such wit. That's cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetris smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yup, the greatest. You idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah, don't be so stupid. Oh man, that pirate seems embarrassed. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? <laughs> We're goofing off both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What, miss? We're, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we get grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, um, I, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, man. Is, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys are... I, just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help... To think, but think of it, it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a, pro a proper layover. So what do we say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? 
That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're right with me. You, you're right with me. You're with me, right boys? Who's for a night of fun? <laughs> All those pirates are ignoring him for some reason. <laughs> You're all fools, you know that? You saw that the mall is silent. You saw the seamless destruction. We had to hurry on to outset or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be descriptful, but the sound of things... You're worried more about that island than the treasure miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, treasure. Huh? Oh no, they got Link. You know that Link's there. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big baby. But well, we said he sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood? Please. Aye aye. Gee, those pirates follow everything. They follow absolutely everything. Stay there, brother. What was the, today's password again? Mac Mako, are you serious? You forgot already. You're so useless. Man. Today's password is plankton. Yeah, remember? You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. He's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Plankton, yeah? Alright, Plankton, eh? Alright, well... Well, now we know the password. That's one good thing. Alright, and now we're out. We better stop those pirates before anything else happens. Like what you saw in that shop. Like, for real, those pirates are really wild with their job. Alright, so let's jump onto the ship quickly. And we better not use that Wind Waker's time thing. Because if we do, then we could accidentally set off the pirates. Who can't walk the plank? Okay, so what is it? So what was it? So it's plank ton. Alright, so it's plank ton. Alright, so there we go. Plankton. Right, right. You may enter. Alright. Alright, so we got in. We got the password down. Okay, what's in here? I guess this is like the pirate room over here. It is probably Tetris room. Wait, hold on. Wait a second. It, she has the ancient legend picture. Really? Yeah, she has the the hero of time picture. The the true hero. I guess she's a fan of him. What's this? Kind of sort of Triforce. On a map. Interesting. What else she got? Oh wait, she you got a um, little flower lamp in, oh, all the way over there. Hold on, let me get the telescope out. So that we can actually get a good look at it. Alright, so let's equip it. Aw, oh, man, we can't use it. How about the picto box? Yeah, we can use that. And, let's see. Hey, that's another one of those ancient pictures. That's another one of those ancient legend pictures. Really, she has to be a big fan. She's a really, really, really big fan. I guess she likes my outfit a lot. Alright, what do we have here in the trading room? Oh, Link, my old swabby Link. So you're alive. All the other pirates say you got done in that by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought. Never mind what I thought. You're alive. 
Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. All right, why don't we test you with to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck. You'll you'll need it, Swabby. You can see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, the last time you when you press the switch, the platforms rose up and you jump onto, right? Well, yeah, well, this time, there aren't any. Wow, this pirate guy just makes it harder every time. This is like level 2, I guess. Which means you have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. <laughs> and that's not all. This time, I put a gate on the door too. Oh man, this guy is really tough. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. Alright, so he added the gate too. This, that, the switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before time runs out, I'll give you... The bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give me your best shot, Suave. Alright, well. It looks much tougher, so. Alright, so let's do this. And let's head on to this plate right here to start the timer. And we will head on to these. Onto this lamp thing. It seems like we gotta time it. So there we go. Alright, so let's just wait until those two come together. And. Alright, so I'll just wait until that one comes back towards me. And then I'll just swing onto that. Alright. Now that we've got that. Let's hop over to this one, and now that we've gotten that, we will just swing onto that one over there. So we'll press ZR to stop here, and we'll climb down to the bottom of this. It'll take a little while to get it going again. But it's kind of worth it so that you could swing farther and kind of faster. And there we go. We did it. What? You gotta be... You did it already? You're... You're incredible. This isn't good. I've never passed this. I've never even pass this test how could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy <laughs> oh wow if i give this to him everyone will know for sure oh i'll be busted well uh okay you're the best swabby of all time so i guess i'll just give you the bombs go on take them don't tell anyone okay I'm serious, real serious, okay? Okay? Alright, we'll take those... We'll take those bombs, just in case. Let's get those bombs quickly before anybody notices. Alright, let's get the bombs. Kabomb! Alright, we got bombs. We can carry up to 30. Pull one out... And then press A to throw it or ZR to set it at your feet. Try it out. It's a blast. For real. It does blow up. So I guess you would say it's a blast. 
Using bombs while on your boat gives you a mighty cannon you can use to fight off sea going enemies. Set them to use them with Y, X, or R. That's a mighty courageous of you trying to steal treasure from pirates. Oh no, it's Tetra. I forgot we had that rock. I suppose I should be shocked, but I am more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. In the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just not, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simplified Simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And how just do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in the cave, in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But at, but the entrance is blocked by a giant. Stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill or of whatever this town has to offer. But we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jabun tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Wow, okay. We better set sail now in like three seconds. So that works. That up, and I'll just close up that door real quick. And there we go. Alright, so let's go. And let's get out of here before. What? What's this? Okay. Um. Anyway, let's go, and there's a bunch of pirate swords over there on the sides. Anyhow, where do we go now? So let's make sure we're going to the right place. Get in our boat. Where's our boat? Um, oh, it's at the docks. Okay, we gotta go straight to Outset Island now before nightfall. Actually, the mailbox is dancing. That's great. Great, the, the dancing mailbox is back. Alright, let's do it. Ooh, rupees. This is the way that it works for getting rupees. Cool. So, anyway, let's put the boomerang away and we'll check out the dancing mailbox. It's really weird how this mailbox dance, but it's actually cool at the same time. Good evening. Letters for Link, we have three letters! Wow, that's the most amount of mail I've ever gotten. That is a lot of mail. That's awesome. Letters for Link, we have three letters. Here is your letter. One of the letters. Notice from Beetle Shop Ship. It's our semi-annual big chance extravaganza. We have a new bomb product. It has burst onto the scene. Bombs. We're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. You'll know where to find us by checking the enclosed Beetle Shop Ship chart. Visit a Beetle Shop Ship near you today. Offer not available in all regions. Don't miss out. And don't miss this huge opportunity. Beetle. We got Beetle Shop ship chart. Now you know where to find Beetle's floating shop ships. Open the chart on the map screen to view it. Alright, that's very convenient. Okay, second letter. It's kind of weird how it spits the letter out in your face kind of thing. But anyway, if you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crest and return to me. Orca. You got a red rupee. That's 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. Here's your letter. The third letter. But that orca guy is actually the sword fighting guy. 
All right, let's see. Final letter. How are you doing, Link? Do you have enough of Granny Soup? Where are you now? You may be closer than I suspect. Are you hungry? <laughs> Man, Link's grandma sent him letters just because he's on barely another island? Wow. And her letters get, they get to places in like three seconds. Wow. You have an injury to yourself, have you? Wow, she is very careful with Link. She is worried, I guess. Do you, you always work so hard, Link. Do you have enough rupees? Your grandma doesn't have a lot, but I'm sending you everything I've saved up. As long as I have you and Iro, I don't need anything else. I just want the two of you to return home safely. Love, Grandma. Nice. Oh, another red rupee. 20, 20 rupees. That's a good surprise. That's thanks to her, but... Anyway, let's go before those pirates get here. Ooh, wait, let's check out let's check out the um bomb sale. Just before we leave. Oh man, it's not available here. Oh man. We better head to outset like three seconds. Well done, our preparations are complete. If what that girl the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning you must meet with jaboon and get the pearl before him before from him before they arrive let us delay no longer link all right let's step on it quickly good thing we got super duper nitrous sale yeah okay love this sale my absolute favorite sale right now so anyway let's hit the wind waker thingy here Alright, so let's see here. The outset island. Let's set. Ooh, bombs! Bombs, bombs, bombs. Okay, hold on. Let's wind way cross. Wait, no, that's the wrong pattern. Alright, so up. Hold on, nope. There we go. Okay, so. So we need to go south, uh, southwest. This is such a nice boat. Even though, even though this thing talks to you, it's so amazing. It actually speaks. It it has a sail. It's so awesome. Literally, this is every sailor's dream boat. He actually talks to you. You can have a conversation with your boat. That's so cool. All right, so. Anyway, let's just head down to outside and step on it because we need to get there Absolutely now. Wait, are we going the right direction? Yes, we are So actually No, not really we need to go south more more south than uh, We need to go more south than west uh Oh, sharks are back Whoa, okay. Ooh, it has. What are those cyclones? Alright, so we're on course directly to outset. So, right now, we're sailing really, really fast. Let's jump. Okay, nice. We can really go anywhere with this speed. Whoa, okay. Gotta run. Gotta get some more rupee storage somehow. But anyway. Let's go. Well, okay. There's stuff everywhere. So, this is as fast as we could possibly go. So, where are the outset? Still sector. Still a whole bunch away. So basically, if we turn a bit more to the left, we'll be heading directly in the correct direction. Alright, so let's go there. Now, so...
Nice, okay, so we're basically to outset one sector down. Let's go directly south from here. Okay, so we're going directly south. Actually, we should go a bit this way. Yeah, okay, perfect. We're going directly to outset. Alright, for okay, so we'll just forget about um this uh, g uh bomb cannon. Even though I really want to see it. Alright, let's do it real quick. Ooh. Alright, so we need to put away quickly and set sail. Because those sharks are very, very fast. And hungry. That's the worst part about them. Though we really need to go, but even though we have the swift sail, we're still not even as fast as those sharks. Those sharks are fast, and we are out at outset right now, so we have to sail to the back, like, instantly, and then we'll go use the bombs on something else. If we even need to. So I'm not really sure how the aiming works on that cannon, but it doesn't really matter. We'll figure it out once we get there. And we have 30 rounds, and we have 30 rounds too, so we can try 30 times. Alright, we're there. Have we noticed, Link? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Greyfish Isle. The land that was so rag ravaged by monsters. It is as time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse of that Balu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if the night does not end, then we worry. Then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to go visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak to Jaboon after you do. Actually. Yeah, but we need to head over to the... Oh, okay, so... Boat won't let us back on. So, even though we are gonna have to... Let's just go check on Link's grandma real quick, and then... And then we have to head directly to the back of the island. Nearly instant. So, let's just go check out what's going on. And that guy that, um, and that, uh, orca guy that, um, has the fighting skills, he's cool. Link, whenever you have an empty bottle, you can bring it straight to Grandma. I can make more soup for you whenever you like. Wow, okay. That's nice, but we didn't even use ours yet. He's already prepared. That's great. He makes soup all the time, I guess. Alright, so... Now that we've done that, let's step on it and go directly to that thing. Um, and then we can go buy some more bombs. Are you ready? If that's the case, then we must search for the cave or on the back of Alta I Where Jaboon is said to hide. Alright. Let's go quick, step on it. Actually, this is a slow sail, so we don't really need the fast sail right now. Alright, let's put that away. So, where is it? Whoa. Alright. Whoa, okay, we're stuck in some sort of current. Whoa, okay, so we have absolutely no abilities right now. So, how are we supposed to aim our cannon here? Whoa, okay. One hit. That's not gonna do it. Whoa, okay, so we still need to hit it once more. Whoa, okay, so we gotta wait until we go around again. Maybe we should just break the bottom of it. That'll do the trick. All 
all right wait so we broke the middle we need to break the bottom and quick kabob okay nice and how many rounds do we have left we have um so let's first sail in let's see this great jaboon guy here Wow, okay, this looks like a core. Well, what's that? Whoa. Whoa. Wow, okay, he seems, he seems friendly. All right. Well, man, indeed, Jaboon. I am pleased to see that you are safe. Oh, he's speaking in some sort of ancient language. I wonder what he's saying. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Unfortunately, that is not so. The one I have brought with me has no connection with the to the legendary one. And I yet sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do. It is the only way. Well, what what is going on? What does he have in there? Oh, the pearl. Wait, isn't that the symbol of wisdom? You got Nairu's pearl. The water spirit Jabun was kind enough to give you this jewel. A Treasure from one of the from one of the goddesses. So that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought us on by Ganon. We must intend to cast this land in pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. I really wonder what that great Jaboon guy is saying. Wow, okay. He is big. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us. So morning should come soon. As it well that we have gathered all of the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I marked the places where you shall, where you sh must set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its pro proper location, the providing grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jabun has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the pearls perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far you should finish any business you have on here on outset right now so that you shall not have any regrets later all right so let's do it real quick all right so we need to sharp turn here Okay, so let's park. Do we actually only use four rounds total? So let's step on it and actually, you guys know that fairy fountain up on top, right? You remember that that was a huge rock? But now that we've got some bombs, we could probably open it up. So let's do that. All right, so let's head this way. And there we go. Right up here, still the sign says that the thing's closed. We'll head right through here. Whoa, okay, there's a lot of 
Those guys that fight with Ganon. Alright. Let's figure out what we can do. Oh man. Boring. Alright. Nice. Okay. So we got a rupee here. Whoa! Okay. Definitely not. We gotta go back up. Alright guys, so let's head up here. This seems like the only way we can get enough lift. To be able to use this. Whoa, okay. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. Our stuff is healed now. So now we can head in and equip some bombs, of course. And now let's add our bombs to X here and well okay so let's just head up and let me just head set the time and now that it's now that it's day we could actually see where we are going so Let's climb. And it, we are here in the fairy fountain site. So now we can actually use our bomb. Ooh. Secret hole thingy. Alright, so we only have 25 bombs left. But, but anyway, let's get the camera here just in case. Whoa, okay, where are... Whoa. That is the most amazing portrait ever. This... That guy... That... That... That is like the master of pictograph... Pictography... This guy will be amazed when he sees this. Wow, okay. Gotta get a picture of this. Have to get a picture of this. How about like that? Wow, okay. Wow, okay, forget that. This is most amazing. Whoa. Is it that person that we met is a great fairy? Young Waker of the Wind, allow me to aid you in your quest. Alright. See? And it seems like we're gonna get some sort of power. But well, which is it? You cannot carry more rupees. Now you can hold up to 1,000 rupees. Wow. The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. Wow. Wow, okay. Definitely gotta come back here. Alright, let's go up and out of the great fairy place. That picture... That picture will make, will make that guy, will make that pictograph guy, it, he'd love that picture. No problem at all. He will definitely want that picture. Alright, bridge is still broken, but anyway, let's jump. Ow. Okay. Alright, we're back on Outset Island. Let's cut some grass here. I think it's not as lively as before for some reason. Bombs? Grass? Never knew that there was bombs in the grass. We just refilled our bombs. Wow, okay. 
So we already have 502 rupees and the mailbox is dancing again. So that is good news because now that means we got mail. Let's see what it got for us today. Good morning. Letters for Link, we have one letter. Wow, okay. Here's your letter. I'm sorry to disturb you with this unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, please throw the letter away without a second thought. But this is your big chance. Do you need an, of an empty bottle, a piece of heart, or a treasure chart? We have them at special bargain prices. But we only have one of each. If you're interested, go to the shop ship near Rockspire Island. First come, first served. I can't wait to serve you. To those who took the time to read this letter, please accept my humble thanks. Manager of Manager of Rockspire Shop Ship. All right, so we got a green rupee. And that is it for our mail for right now, I guess so. Wow, okay. Let's speak to her. Is that you, Link? Well, it looks as though you're safe. That's good to know. Ever since you left, our lovely island has become a horrible place to live. Every night now, when the sun disappears, vile monsters appear and tear across the island. It's frightening. So frightening. Yeah, it is. Well, wow. Okay, so. I didn't expect to meet her again. But anyway, let's check with Link's grandma. And make sure everything's still okay in here. But anyway. The shield is, is with us. And is still in perfect shape. She doesn't have to worry about a thing. Alright, so... Alright, so... We are set for right now. And it seems like everything's fine. We'll come back every now and then. To get that potion that she makes. A special soup, which um, is actually... Some sort of special potion... Like, substance. Which is really cool. And... We got some treasure over there waiting for us to pick it up. So let's actually use one of our bombs here on our boat. So that we can see how much it is on that shop ship. So let's bomb it over here. Let's just go like really far. Just to make it crazy. Boom. Okay. So now let's just park over on our ship. Let's park on that shop ship over there and we will go check it out. And see how much each bomb is. Because, ooh, so bombs? Okay, so let's see. Alright, so. So let's use L to browse here. So. 30 bombs, 60 rupees, buy them while you can. Bye. Wow, okay, so definitely great deal. So, 30 bombs for 60 rupees, that's a good deal. So, anyway, let's see here, and we'll put away that, and we'll stop right there. Actually, we need to turn around. And go straight towards the treasure and dunk it right down there. Nope, no treasure right there, but it's right here. Oh, oh a fish, a fish. It's really good. That, that. All right, so let's drop the thing down there. Still nope. Nope, okay, so. Go a little bit this way. <gasps> oh, there it is. There it is. And... 
Alright, there we go. Bingo. Got it. What did we get this time? So cool how you can reel up treasure. Purple rupee. 50 bucks. Alright. Good. And the fish. We need bait. So let's take some bait out of the bait bag. And let's get some map data for our map. Alright, there we go. There we go. Oi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it. You want a chart and, and information about this island. Then start opening your sea chart. Alright, let's do it. Alright, nice. Outset island thing. What's the data that this fish will give us? I've heard that beneath the big head boulder up top of hill of the hill here on outset is where the greatest treasures of all, the golden triumph forks, are buried. But actually small fry, I must have misheard of something. Because because this one guy told me that it was actually buried beneath uh, that weird rock that was some shard of something called a Triforce. Whoever heard of that? That's crazy. There's a big difference between Triumph Forks and Triforce. I mean, I think somebody intentionally buried something misleading there. And that's all the info I got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait in the water for me. Sorry about, sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fighting evil on an empty, on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. All right. Well, if that fish just told us that there's a a, a piece of the Triforce inside of Outset Island, then we're gonna have to look for it. But guys, we're going to have to do that one on the next video. So let's check our treasure maps real quick here. And we'll just make sure. So there's, um, oh, actually, we got to check the um, beetle's chart here. So this is where she is. This is where the beetle boat is here. So, oh, so there's some guy up ahead. Wow, okay, that's interesting. So we're gonna have to remember that. So it's this, so it's, um, two square, so it's the third square from the top. That's cool. So anyway, guys, let's go over here back to Outset Island. And guys, that is about it. And if you want to watch more of the series, you can check it out in the description below. But anyway, let's head out of here. And guys, that is about it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell button. So you'll never miss out on another video on Aiden's World. So anyway, guys, see you next time on Aiden's World. And guys, there's a lot of more cool Warrior Wednesday videos coming soon. So guys, that is about it. See you next time.